Oh well, I guess I'm afraid I've already spoiled the methodology of ASP to you when I was explaining the workflow with the graph coloring example. But anyway, let's nail it down once and for all. Now, the methodology of writing ASP programs follows a generate and test approach. You write a few lines, norm normally it's actually uh, very, very tiny, where you have a generator that generates potential stable model candidates, and this is done through well, here I say non-deterministic constructs, but often enough these are choice rules or choices that are constraints with lower and upper bounds. These guys give you solution candidates. And then from there on you can actually assume that an oracle has given you a solution candidate composed of the predicates that you put in the, in the generator. And then you can just analyze it. And that's when you write the tester. You may write auxiliary rules and, and define auxiliary predicates in between, but at the end of the day, this tester or this testing, these testing rules will eliminate invalid solution candidates and more or less identify those candidates that are true solutions. This is more or less the core of everything. And in general, there is a bit more. We've seen also that this, the generator and the tester, this is the problem encoding that encodes the problem class. Then there's also the data that describes the problem instance and often enough an optimizer that, an optimization statement or weak constraint that identifies the optimum solutions. So before continuing, one thing to keep in mind, the solver does not follow a generated test approach because computationally that would be the worst Thing that it could do. This is only methodology, this is only to help you how to write down ASP programs and actually in the practical, in the tutorials, you will see a more refined approach in particular to help you as beginners to write down your ASP programs. So let's come back to the, to the example briefly. So we have seen that in graph coloring we have this division in problem instance and problem encoding. The problem instance is the data part or represents the data part where you only give facts and then the, in the problem encoding, you had a generator and a tester, where here again the generator generates a set of uh, instances of the, of the binary predicate assigned. And then from there on in the remainder, you can say, okay, I have such a set of assignments and now I can analyze them. And that actually, that's actually here what you do simply with this integrity constraint, where you, re re where you remove um, all solutions that invalidate this constraint. Okay, that's it. And so here we have no optimizer, but we'll see other optimizing, well, optimizing encodings, um, encodings with optimization statements later on. So, and now the real fun starts with the case studies.